Up, Cor Help me to welcome Cora Cristobal. <laughs> yes, yes. The stuff I'm saying will have her, her say her version of it because because Sunil is, is just amazing, Thank and you. I've met Sunil through this woman. And a, you. as you can see, I track back all my success in this room. You're gonna see all. If you want to, people are like Raymond. Just a year, you were like truck driver. What are you doing with? table full of books and being invited to uh, go to the UN being I wasn't I didn't get an award an ambassador award I was nominated I was not nominated appointed an ambassador like I'm an ambassador forever I'm appointed an ambassador like things are just happening I, I almost can't even say it <laughs> I got it I got to get used to that and this can ha and I I said, okay, how, how can I offer, I think I slipped through the cracks, or how can I bring everybody in one room and, 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 and show, show you where the success came from? And so when I met Cora at Raymond's er uh, Raymond Aaron's event, where I signed up to write my first book, she introduced me to go to Sunil's event, where Brian Tracy is coming, where I met Michael Tracy, and, I share, and, and one year, and less than a year later, Michael Tracy is now my keynote. Brian can't travel as much anymore. Introduce Sunil. Thank you. <laughs> so it all started from me, Raymond, right? And we met at the parking lot one winter time last year. And that's how I st we started that sort of opening up doors and opportunities for Raymond and see where he is now. He's able to bring you together. And now my job here is to introduce the next speaker. And thank you for giving me the honor because this man that I'm going to introduce has been a part of my life in the last three and a half to four years. And probably some of you knows that we are doing events together. We are bringing big boys and big girls mm -hmm. at on stages. And I am able to meet big legends like Oprah, Michelle Obama, and all these celebrities because of him. So this man that who is coming up next is the founder and CEO of his own largest real estate investment club in Canada, which is called Private Investment Club. That's one. Number two, he has shared stages with the big legends like Brian Tracy, Jack Hanfield, Kevin Harrington, Robert Allen, and on March 21st, 2020, he's bringing the largest legend, icon, that you know is the 10X Grand Cardone. Awesome. Grand Cardone in March. On November 16, he is bringing again for the third time Jack Khan Field, March, November 16 in Ottawa. So I'm telling you this because these are the upcoming events that he is producing. And if you are interested, he has his booth there. And I can also help you with that. What else can I say about this man? Obviously, he has shared stages with these legends, including Tony Robbins. And in November, he's going to Europe to share stage with Robin Sharma. Um, what else can I say? Of course, as I said, he is my mentor from the last three and a half years to, to four years. And from then on, I became the founder of my own club, Toronto Women's Club. I myself became an international speaker and never in my wild, wildest dreams have I thought of becoming an, an speaker, more so having spoken in, in Dallas, Texas, in, uh, in London, UK, in Birmingham, UK, and other parts of the United States. And I myself became a coach and a mentor, and I myself became, it, it looks like I am doing everything that he is doing. Uh, so without much ado, I would like to welcome Mr. Sunil Tulsiani. Well, here today we have Sunil Tulsiani, founder of Private Investment Club. You need to be hanging around people like that, like him, so that you can learn to think and act the way millionaires act. He's an amazing friend, an amazing mentor and coach. As I said in my seminar, it ain't bragging if you've done it. What Sunil can do is can give you advice based on his own experience that will save you years of hard work.
that's what his vision is, to make 100 millionaires. You need to come and be part of this and use the resources, because you're not it's not just you. You've surrounded yourself with all kinds of people in various aspects of the real estate world, the motivational world, the take a risk world, if you will. Yes. Sunil Tulsiani is a former police officer turned real estate mogul who has bought and sold over $100 million worth of real estate. He's been referred to by the media as the wealthy cop. Sunil is a number one best-selling author, an internationally renowned public speaker who's been featured on Fox Business News, CNBC, Bloomberg News, CP24 TV, The Toronto Star, and the covers of several national magazines. He's shared stages with Robert G. Allen, Jack Canfield, Brian Tracy, Ron Lee Grant, and many other real estate legends. He's been called the Tony Robbins of the real estate world. Please give a warm welcome to your speaker, Sunil Tulsiani. Thank you. So, Cora just opened up her office uh, and we uh, cut the ribbon on Thursday and she kept telling me she's coming to this event. And I said, I thought you were not, she said, I know there's a surprise. I said, what's the surprise? She said, I'm not telling you. And I did not know that she was here just to introduce me. So thank you very much. Let's give Cora a hand. Let's do that right now. <laughs> Secondly, um, I would like to say, uh, and that I am really, really impressed of this. Um, raise your hands if, if you're an author or co-author, all the way up, let me see. Awesome. So there's the, the co author, co-author of this book. Where's that young lady, the, the, the little girl? Can you please come on up? Or you can bring her up if you don't mind. Actually, she was sitting in there. Where is she? Let's come on, let's give this young lady, let's give her a hand first of all. <laughs> come on up, come on up on the stage. She, hello. hello, give me a hand. And of course, both of them, and so I was standing in the back waiting and I saw this young lady who wrote a book. It's called Being Helpful. It's a children's book. And I bought this book and they, she autographed it as well. Aww. You know, it's, it's so nice, you know, like very, very nice to do that kind of stuff. So I wanna say to you that I am so proud. How old are you? Seven. She's seven years yeah. old. Seven. So I want to say to you that at seven, I didn't even know that books existed. Like I, I was forced to look at books at that time, right? So I wanted to say thank you very much, and I want to do something for you that I do that for my high-end clients and things like that. And what I did was I know – how many of you know Jack Canfield? All the way up, let me see. Jack Canfield, before he became wealthy, what he did was he put a check, a million dollar check, and every day he woke up, woke, up, woke up, he looked at it. And one day a publisher actually wrote a check for a million dollars with a smiley face. I took his idea and I took 24 pure gold and I made a million dollar out of that that I carried myself all the time. So I, I, because psychologically, gold is gold. It's valuable. Secondly, I can't spend it. So I carry my entire family, myself, I carry a million dollar gold note with me all the time and I would like to present this to you. Thank you. You're welcome. And, and I look forward to you becoming the top author and speaker on this planet and I'm gonna help you get there. I want you to come to my next event and I'm for free, I want you to come there and I want you to just be you. And at, at the age of seven, I am so impressed with you and your mom and your dad who's here, who's uh, standing over there. Let's give them a one more time round of applause, guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you, please have a seat. You're welcome, you're welcome. Um, so, if please go back. If you wanna impress an author, go buy the books. You know, just go buy a book. You know, I, 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 I went to uh, Kevin Harrington the other day and I said, look, I read your books called Key Person of Influence. I, can I please buy 1,000 copies of your books? You think he would be impressed? He'd be happy? And I said, I like to take, buy those books and I like to give it to people that I know. Now, is Kevin Harrington a better friend now? 
believe me, he is. And, and some of you are here that actually published your books, and I said, I'll buy 50 books. Cora, where's Cora? Where did she go? Cora, how many books did I buy when you started a long time ago? I don't know. Is it 50 or 100? I can't remember right now. So I asked Cora, when you publish your book, how many books have you sold? And I think I was like 50 or 40 or something like that in all her time. And I said, I'd like to buy 50 of your books right now. And then I bought 100 copies of her books. And there's a left. Who has not read this book? Uh, key person of influence. By the way, he's a shark, an original shark from Shark Tank. Who would love this book? Who would love this book? I will autograph it personally, and I will give this book to them. Who would want this book? All right, John, congratulations. By the way, amazing trainer, John. Uh, good to have you. Guys, you need to check him out, what he does. Awesome. Good to see you, Thanks, man. man. You're welcome. Now, the lesson, you've seen this before. Lesson is simple. Go get it. Go get it, right? Now, most of you didn't do it, but here's the thing. Right now, once you saw it and you don't do it, that's going to be a problem. So, who would like this book? You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. You. <laughs> done, 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 done. Give yourselves a hand, guys. Let's do that right now. This is truly a red carpet service. You, you came through red carpet. Since I'm in the give, uh, mood of giving, is that okay if I give a little bit more? Yes, of course. I, I'm sorry. Do you guys want more? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to share something with you which is crazy. I actually have a suit that I, today, it, this is a boss suit, but normally I get my own suits done, and inside I say, I am financially free. That is my top mantra on the planet for business. I am financially free. So what did I do? I made a coin of my own that said, I am financially free, and, I, and I'm a multimillionaire. So there's a two mantras, both sides. I keep them myself. Oh. I'm taking massive action. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. So you took mine. Actually, I'm going to keep another one. So, so that energy gets transferred over to you, and you're going to be a multimillionaire, I know. I have two. From this side. This side. Who wants it? All right. Done. This side. This side. Are you from this side? Okay, you are. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys. Lastly... Lastly, I run the largest elite club in Canada. It's called Private Investment Club. And, and, and I want you to look at your dates, September 21st, September 21st. And I have a few tickets. They're $197. Who would like me to gift these tickets to you? Come on up. Okay, so just relax. I, have, I think I have enough. All right, enjoy, enjoy. Yes, George. You're welcome. Boom. There's more? Congratulations. Enjoy. By the way, if you have a wife, spouse, or something, make, make sure you take more. Or two? Okay. You're welcome. One more or two more? One more. Two. Okay. One more. All right. One more? All right. Some of you like, you think he's a brown Santa or something like that, right? Another one. By the way, what's the lesson here? Lesson is, before you get you, give. you give. And I know we all know that. So why do people come to successful person and say something like, hey, I want you to do this for me. The lesson is, you go up to them and say, I want to do this for you. That's how you do it. And that's the biggest thing to understand today. All right. So, raise your hands if you've never seen me before. All